Good, good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is Wednesday, March the 10th. This is episode number 134 of your three business tips at three o'clock and in around three minutes. Today marks the 20th week in a row that I've been putting together these 333s. And as you know, one of the main reasons I started this was I wanted to work on some process improvements, business tips. I'm always talking with my existing customers, other coaches about this. One of the things I have been zeroing in on for the past 20 weeks is better ways to make use of my time. So today we're going to talk about a calendar audit. Okay, we're going to talk about improving repetitiveness, time assessments, and carrying over tasks. For me personally, I live and die off of a Google Calendar, and I've got them color-coded in the web design business between support, production, sales, personal, and my volunteer job, which is school board. So I have a visual representation by color where I'm spending my time on. But I don't know about you, I plan out the day now in advance, and I put the task on there, and I try to put a little bit of spaces, but as things take longer than expected, they move around in my calendar. So my first business tip I want to talk about today is improving the repetitive areas. There are certain things on my calendar that I do every day. There are menial tasks or important things I need to do. And I block out a certain amount of time and have for quite some time. But now it's time to really evaluate those and say, hey, you know, during this 60 minutes of doing A, B, and C, are there ways to do that faster? That's what I mean by actually analyzing and improving repetitive tasks. Business tip number two is that we need to take a time assessment. I am a poor judge of how long a support call or production piece will take. I might block out 30 minutes or an hour. And at the end of the day, things have taken longer than necessary. At some point during the week, I need to go back and assess and realize how off base I am so that I can become better at that. So this week, in addition to predicting the times I take for task, I'm actually tracking it. This is what I mean by a time assessment. And I think for those of you that are really after doing those five, you know, one to 5% improvements in the quality of your time and work, this is the details, the fine little details you should be looking at. Business tip number three. There are certain tasks that I do that don't get done. And obviously in my Google Calendar, I carry them over to the next day or move them around. But... I find that as I get closer to the end of the day, my time slips and those tasks get moved quite more frequently. I need to be evaluating how many tasks are carrying over because whether it's a production or support issue, that's a, that's a, a, a factor that affects the client. Support takes maybe a day longer or production is dragging out for a day longer. Well, those little days add up and that starts affecting my, my customer um, expectation. So anyway, that is something I'm tracking. Now, all of this may sound really trivial, but doing this on a weekly basis and improving my ability to put production in or your ability to put production in by 1% or 2% week by week is making you more efficient. So in review, we're going to do basically a calendar audit. That's what I'm calling it. You're going to look at how to improve repetitive tasks, look at your time assessments of how long things take you, and consider how many things you're carrying over from day to day. These are what I am working on, and I just wanted to share that with you each day because I want you to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.